Welcome, 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 welcome once again to Celebrity and Variety Talk with Josie Latimer. My topic this evening is they all kill Malia. They all kill Malia. Everyone that was uh, involved and surrounding the disappearance of Malia, it doesn't matter who actually did it. They all did it. And there are certain people that were surrounding this case, including Darian Vance, Brittany Boynes, Joe Vance, which is uh, Darian's brother, and uh, CPS. They all killed Malia. So everyone that was surrounding this case should be charged with the death of four-year-old Malia Davis. There was a talk show on the news with the mother, and she did an interview with a news reporter. I think it was on Fox 26. And um, the way she expressed herself, and she says, I don't care what people think. Well, you know what? If it was my child, I wouldn't say I didn't do that. I would say, oh, no way. Oh, no, God, I didn't kill my child. I wouldn't just say I didn't do that as if she was a that or that she was a nothing. I would identify the word that as I would not harm my own child. And also, I would have sympathy with the people because the people, the public, everyone loves that little girl now as if it's their own. They've even given her the name Houston's girl. She's a Houston's girl. And so Sunday, they're going to do a walk. And so I encourage everyone to wear pink people here in Houston, Texas, people all over the world. If you're listening to this audio, please wear pink on Sunday to um, for a recognition of Malia Davis. Now, back to that mother when she said, uh, I didn't do that. I didn't like that word. I didn't like the part of her saying, I don't care what people say in a cocky way. Well, as I was saying, if it was my daughter, I would care. You know why? I would care what people say. I would have sympathy for people's feelings because of this horrific crime that happened to a baby. I would probably have said, I do care what everyone's saying. I do feel everyone's pain. I feel more than their pain because that was my child. I'm not just going to flat out and be cold and say, I don't care what people say. I mean, I would love people for having the care to think uh, and good for my daughter. And they could blame me, but I still would have care for these people because these people want to know who killed Malia. So this tends to... Uh, make me think that she has something to do with it. And Darian Vince, um, she had something to do with it. And Darian Vince discarded the body or they both had something to do with it. And neither one is talking at this time. Uh, the reason I say that it can't just be Darian Vince alone because the reward money is still there. And also, they have not charged Darian Vance with the murder. They charged him with tampering of the body, but they've never charged him with the murder because they feel that there are other suspects involved in this murder of four-year-old Malia Davis, which is why they haven't charged Darian Vance. That's common sense. Everyone with a common mind would know that by now, since they found the body and everything, and they have all the DNA and everything, he would have been charged immediately with murder. So now they want to find out who was accessory to this, who actually murdered the child, who, um, who hit the child, who helped get rid of the body, who helped him, took him to the hospital, who put the cuts on him. You know, there are a lot of things that the investigators are investigating. So actually... Uh, with the mother, I would have been a little more uh, sympathetic with the public uh, on their feelings of believing that it was her. I mean, I would definitely have sympathy with the public because uh, the reason everyone would say it's the mother, first of all, because she didn't protect the child. 
And so you know they're going to say that it's you if you didn't protect your child and you went out of town knowing that you said that someone had abused your child before in the past. So now the thing of it is, is that if you love your child from jump, you wouldn't have done that in the first place. So, of course, the public is going to um, point the finger at the mother. So if I was the mother on the interview, I would have said, oh, I know the public is upset at me. And I would just go ahead and fess up. Yes, I should have. I know I was wrong. I know I should not have left her knowing that he has abused her in the past. And I heard that he had whipped her when she was sick and and didn't take her to daycare and all this stuff. If you know that your child is not in place where she should be, then you are at fault. So, yes, I would care about what the public say because I would let the public know you're right. And I would feel the same way if it was someone else's child. That's what I would say. I wouldn't say I don't care about what the public think. I mean, that was a cold statement right there. And so the thing of it is, is they are still investigating this case. They have not charged Darian Vance. And now to go back with that father, on some of my videos, I said that father, he lied. He lied. He said he loved the child. Well, it's coming out. Uh, even there's some tapes, some text, I mean, some text messages that her sister uh, was online with someone named Nikki something. And she was saying that she really believed she had something to do with it. And on the text messages, it seems to me that Brittany knew that the little girl wasn't at school or somehow Brittany was at the house early that morning and then the little girl didn't go to school and Darian Vince came home from work early or it was just some stuff that would tend to make you think that the mother did know that something was going on and shouldn't have boarded that plane that particular day. And then also when she returned home, she returned home and she went to the hospital with him and on another video, I heard her telling someone, yes, she did snap the picture of him. So who actually cut him up? So they got to find all that out. Who put the sl slices on him? Because in the back of his arm, it was a, a cut. And it's no way you can actually take a knife and stand like you're in the back of yourself and cut. It was some cuts on him that looked like uh, someone could have inflicted them on him for those purposes to make it appear that um, he was abused by those Hispanic guys, which was a lot. So what do you guys think? Do you think it was more than just uh, Darian Vents? As this story continues to unfold, I'm beginning to change uh, as the time goes along with it. And I'm going to be following this story like, like I did the A.J. Armstrong story. And again, I know A.J. Armstrong Jr. is very, very uh, relieved that this particular case has overshadowed his case because it is a four-year-old baby. And um, we want to know who killed Malia Davis. Everyone wants to know, not just me, the world wants to know. People are voicing their opinions. They have the right to voice their opinions. It's all out in the media. It's all online. It's everywhere you go. Everybody you talk to. It has really, really taken a toll on people with this baby coming up missing. And another reason I feel that it was more people involved because when they found the gas can in the car, I was really, really scared and afraid that the body would have been burned. So when Darian Vance said that he dropped the body off along the side of the road, one thing he did not do, he didn't burn the body. The body was uh, pretty much whole until the tractor or the yard cutters or whoever these people were out there that ran over that baby's body, they actually destroyed the body. He discarded the body, but he did not um, he did not dismember the body from what I've heard so far. So it tends to mean that if he was a cold killer by himself, he would have done that. So I'm thinking it's two people 
him and Brittany could have possibly, and it could have possibly been, uh, he called it an accident, but they could have whipped her too much or, or he could have spanked her. And then the mother could have came back behind and spanked her or something. And somebody could have gave a lick too hard, or it was something that he would have probably said was an accident. And that caused the murder of four-year-old Malia Davis. So it was more than one person and they're not telling on each other. But I remember his brother, uh, remember the clip on the news when his brother was walking out of the jail and he said, oh no, my brother, oh no, my brother didn't do this and it's all going to come out. He's going to let it come out. He's going to tell who did it. Uh, just hold on and the truth will come out. So now I'm hearing that uh, the brother broke down and cried. Darian Vance broke down and cried. And he said that um, he didn't do it. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't harm Malia. He loved Malia. He, he loved her as if it was his own child. Now, Quan LX said that he felt that he probably snapped. But now I'm thinking, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking that why would he snap and kill Malia because he's angry at Brittany because she found out he had sent penis pictures. Well, I later found out it was another woman, not a man. So if he was going to leave Brittany to be with another woman, why would he harm the baby when he know he's leaving anyway? If you know you're going and you have another girlfriend and you are planning to leave Brittany, why would you why would you harm the baby? So that's another question, uh, Mark, unless him and Brittany, like I said, they both whipped the baby and something happened to that child. So either way you look at it, they're still guilty for murder. And also whoever helped cover it up, whoever helped him drive, hide the body, hide what they knew, everybody will be charged with something. But the actual killer, the lick that killed her, that's what needs to come out. So who actually hurt the baby? Who actually killed the baby? We know Darian Vince, he discarded the body. So he is a suspect for that. So now we have to find out who actually killed the baby. In my opinion, everyone killed her. The system failed her. Her mother failed her. Her biological father failed her. Her stepfather failed her. Even her grandmother failed her. So many people around this baby failed this beautiful young girl. And she seemed like she was such a strong, bright, bright, bright little girl. So I just want to know, what do you think? What do you think? Who do you think? Why do you think? Again, as I said in my thoughts... If Darian Vince had another woman and he was about to leave Brittany, why would he harm her child? Why would he be mad at her because she found pictures of his penis? I mean, he wouldn't have to snap because he's already leaving, right? If you're already leaving, then you have nothing to be angry about. And so that was the talk that he was already leaving. So now I don't know what he told Quan LX. But I know when one of the news reporters went there today, he told them he would not have done it. Well, whether he did it or not, he's still guilty because he discarded the body and we saw him packing the baby's body and I knew that was that baby's body in the basket. It takes a killer, even though he says, I'm not a cold-blooded killer, I wouldn't hurt her. Well, a killer is a killer, whether it's cold-blooded, warm-blooded, hot-blooded, blue-blooded, red-blooded, whatever blooded it is, it's still a killer to even pack a baby in a basket and discard it without calling the law. If you know someone else killed a baby and you that big of a fool to pack a basket and to go and drive, uh, what, uh, six hours away to discard the baby's body with that baby's body in your car, then to me, you are a cold-blooded killer. Yeah, so all of you guys killed Malia Davis because nobody protected her. The baby was not safe at all from the CPS all the way down. 
and it's so ridiculous. So what do you guys think? Do you think that Darian Vance killed the baby? Do you think that Darian Vance and Brittany Boynes both did something to harm the baby and Darian just discarded the body? And do you think the brother know? It seems like the brother knows something that we don't know because when he walked out of jail, and I think that's where the, the cops picked uh, Darian Vince up at the brother's house. So I'm quite sure he and the brother have had conversations. And I know that brother probably told him who killed the baby, whether it was him, Brittany, or whoever. Because the brother was very adamant about, oh, it's going to all come out. I feel very confident and God is on our side. It's going to come out. My brother's going to tell the other side of the story. So what was the other side of the story? And I wonder if Cornell X knows the other side of the story. Because I'm quite sure he probably have an ace and a hole card. You know, that we don't know. Because he did have that private conversation with Darian Vince. But Darian Vince did not snap and kill the baby. The reason I'm saying that, because he had no reason to snap. Because on one hand, Quanell said he snapped. On the other hand, he said he had another woman he was going to leave anyway. Those two there don't make any sense because if you already know you're gone, you have no reason to snap. You know you're already out. You're gone with someone else and moving on to a brand new life. But if you kill someone, you can't move on to that new life. Because you're going to have life in prison. So that didn't make any sense. So it's just a lot of loopholes in this story. And uh, it's all going to come out. But I say they all kill Malia Davis. Please click like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you think. Because it's just really, really uh, something else. For someone to take the life of a beautiful young girl. And as I said earlier, um, the sister that was texting uh, Brittany before Brittany went to her father's funeral, she said, I think she cut off ties with her. She was angry at Brittany because she was asking her questions about the baby. And in her mind, she feels that she thinks she knows something. So... Either they're both taken up for each other and not telling on one or the other. Because another thing, uh, why would she even go to the hospital with him? You know, if my child, if you didn't come pick me up at the airport and my child is missing, I don't want to be nowhere around your ass. I'm just going to put it flat out and just straight up honest. I don't even want to see you. All I want to see is my child. I'm not going to no hospital with no man and my child has disappeared. So that means you had to have known something. Why would you even want to be with him? Why? Unless you guys did something together that was wrong. So I'm going to end my show. And uh, as, the, um, as the news give out more reports, then I'll come back with more on my show. And this is just my opinion. This is public opinion. It's my opinion. It's my freedom of speech. It's how I feel. My heart was for the baby. It still is for the baby. And justice has to be served. And that's all it is to it. No one can get angry at that unless they are for murderers or unless they're for the wrong. Everyone wants justice for Malia Davis. And if anybody don't like it, then something is wrong with them. If they don't want justice, something is wrong with them. So with that, please leave your comments and click like, share, and subscribe. And I really, really appreciate you listening to my audio about the baby, four-year-old Malia Davis, which has touched a many, many hearts. Let me know what you think. And thank you so much for tuning in to Celebrity and Variety Talk. I'm your host, Josie Latimer. Goodbye.